Okay, welcome back everybody. We are here on part seven, which is creating some crosscuts through our project. So um, what we want to do here is um, essentially we want a few sections for line work through this project. So what I'm going to do is we'll start by creating some for our columns actually. So we'll pick up our walls and columns and I'm going to start this tool by clicking on the cutting plane. And so essentially what we're going to be doing is making some cuts so that we can create some quick line work from the point clouds themselves. So what we're seeing in this case is, and a view that's kind of helpful for this is the elevation, because um, this will give you a good idea of the colors as they change. So um, essentially when we open this tool, we have a split screen here of the section as well as the uh, representation of that section. So as we take this little lever here on the left and move it up and down, you can actually see behind this, there's a little orange line that's indicating where it is. It's a little bit tough to tell from this view because it's kind of buried behind there, but you can actually see below the color of this section changing as well as the contents of the uh, the screen. So in this particular view, what I want is essentially just a nice clean uh, section of the columns. Um, I accidentally changed my plane there, so I wanna make sure that I'm back up and cutting right through it. And yeah, that's not working either. Let's see that one to X. It's on Y now and we want to hit this one more time to get back to Z. So if you get off your plane, then it, you can click through these and it will change which axis you're cutting on. So in this case, of course, we're cutting on Z. And okay, so let's take our line and we can move it up and we really want to focus in down here to make sure that we've got good coverage on our columns as well as along the perimeter for those windows. So that's really what I'm looking for. So I can take this, move it up and down. Um, I think we got pretty good points since we've already done that cleanup work in the a previous video this is all nice and looking pretty good so um, next step here is I'm gonna skip over all this stuff um, I'm, we're just doing a single slice at a time and we're gonna go to our step three which is our 2d easy line so when we open this tool it's a separate dialog and we want to actually preview the line work and so because we don't have that many points here, it was pretty quick. And um, you might notice that it's kind of tough to see because we still see those points on top of it. But as soon as we uncheck our display cloud, we can see that line work very clearly there. And we can see how it's trying to interpret those points and create the geometry just in polyline. So um, if we're happy with that, we can go ahead and apply and accept it. If we want to make some uh, modifications, we can go through and say like grab these little lines hit the delete button and get rid of the stuff that just maybe isn't really necessary for this particular floor plan. And so just by going through, grabbing stuff, I might want to leave maybe things that I think are pipes, but um, just do a little, little bit of cleanup and um, yep, good enough. Um, so, okay, so with that, I'm gonna hit apply. We're gonna jump back to our previous screen. And we wanna make sure at this point that before we start going and creating new sections, that we actually hit create because that's gonna create a new crosscut section over here. And we can call this level 13 calls and walls. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm gonna actually close this tool and we're gonna be going back in and this, this time I actually wanna select my framing tool and I'm gonna turn that on and I'm actually gonna display, we'll display, oh, we'll just display this. View only this. And so there now is our, um, our framing element. We can see it there. Um, we haven't really looked at this much since we originally cut it, but um, this whole section right here of creating these two deep polylines is really where um, this will really be super useful. So what I'm actually noticing though, is this didn't cut exactly how I wanted. There's actually a lot of stuff in here that I 
wanted to essentially assign to a different point cloud. And so to go back in and to redo this, um, we can do that just by going into our segmentation. And I'm going to trim off just a scotch more off of this. And so I'm going to just cut it to right there and delete out everything else. Create a new slice of this. And I should want to take that slice and with the lid, those two, we want to merge, but we probably need to be out of this command. So exit this command. Um, so there's our slice. So that with our lid, let's merge those clouds. There we go. Now we have those together um, and we can hide that cloud and let's turn back on our framing. So display it. Okay, so looking much better. There's still a few little low points right here, but it's it's much, much better than it was before. So I'll deal with this. Um, so, okay, so again, let's get back to creating those 2D lines now that we've done that quick little fix. And so under our drawing tab, we're gonna be opening our cutting plane. And by default, we should be Looking pretty good here. So we're already set up on our Z plane, so we don't have to change anything about our cutting plane. It's really helpful to make sure that you're in the right view before you go into this tool, so you don't have to modify any of that. But um, but yeah, so from here, I'm actually going to switch this. Blue on black is not very easy to see, so let's change our intensity. And I'm going to take this handle, and what I'm looking for is we can see the floor changing as we pull this up. So what I'm looking for is actually, oh, we can see there that there's really some low points there. So over on this side, it's not even hitting that uh, that line just yet. Um, so that's, that's really why we had so much more stuff in that last segment of this than what we anticipated. But um, we're going to keep just pulling this up, and we'll zoom all the way in here to try to be able to see where that line is. So if we zoom all the way in, we can see it right there. And okay, so we're actually looking pretty good here. I'm going to come up just slightly more because I do like to get rid of some of this fuzziness around the edge. So it is helpful to get as clean of a slice as possible. So we can, of course, go in and delete out some of those points. Um, and we might need to in some cases here, but Overall, I'm feeling pretty good about the the points I'm seeing. And so let's just go ahead and we'll go back into our 2D easy line. And we will preview this. Preview. And so this will take just a minute or two. This is certainly much more complicated than the last, um, the last version that we were running. So I'm going to hit pause here and we'll just let this continue. And we'll come back when it's done. Okay, just finished up, took maybe uh, two minutes there, probably no longer than that. Um, so at this point we can turn off our display cloud and that really helps us see what's going on here. Um, so for the most part, this looks pretty good. There's a few areas like this where things are a little squiggly, but that's good to know actually where some of these corners are because I know those are points that, um, those are waffles that actually, I think in some cases don't exist. So, um, Okay, so I'm going to come in here, and there's a few of these I want to just clean up. So I'm going to do my multi-selection and just kind of double-click over that and delete that. So the color of this cloud is actually really kind of annoying right now because it's red, which is the same, um, essentially the same selection color as my tool, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, we'll come through here, and we'll just clean up a little bit of this. Just by grabbing them, deleting them. So I'm going to cut right through here. I want to just get rid of the majority of the stuff that's hanging on to that edge. Get rid of that one too. Okay, so 
That looks pretty good. A few of those aren't going to matter. We'll just leave them. So with that, let's go ahead and let's apply. And we want to, uh, again, we want to make sure to create. So that's going to make that permanent there. And okay, so now we have this new crosscut. And I can come in here and let's just call this waffle. Level 13 waffle. One. And okay, so I've already created that. So I'm going to do one more of these actually. And I'm going to do one a little bit higher up. Oops. Zoom. Extents. So I'm going to pull this up. I want to do a section a little bit higher up where the beams are a little bit wider. And right about there, I think. So let's go back to the 2D polyline. We'll preview. Okay, so we now have additional information here. I'm going to turn off that. Looks good enough. So let's apply. And all right, now we have three of them. We got three total. Um, we need to create. Can't forget that. So I'm going to take this, copy the name, we'll paste it in here, and we'll call this two. Okay. So let's just display just our three. View only this. And we'll close this tool. And let's look at it from the top. And there we are. So we can still see those points. So I'm going to hide the cloud because now there's two components of this. There's the clouds, the points that are were used to derive all this line work, and there was also the um, the point the the uh, the line work itself. So okay, so with that, we can take these and we can override them. If I'm matching this up to my color scheme here, um, this is a roof framing, so it's kind of a a teal ish color, or sorry, not teal, uh, magenta. And so I'm just going to come in here and override the geometry with that magenta color and so that's pretty much ready now for export okay there we go if we zoom way in we can see there are two lines doesn't look like I got them the same color I think this one needs to go one more to the right okay Hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it was a little bit long, but um, this has been yeah, super, super helpful for us on this project, um, just in order to quickly extract all those different waffles on the slab. And just to make sure that we're not missing anything major here, I'm gonna display this cloud. And I just wanna double check that we got all these covered, so. I'm going to change this cloud color to white and so that way we can see these points make sure that we got points on them and we're looking pretty good so I was a little skeptical that we had everything in this area here um, if we turn this off yeah we can see that everything's in there so okay good enough check this side Looks good. Okay, stopping here. Next video, we're gonna be doing some sampling where we're actually taking uh, these points, and in this case, 61 million points for this uh, framing element. We're gonna be taking that and cutting that down even uh, smaller so that we can um, really maximize the um, performance and the size of these files. So check out the next one, definitely very helpful.